Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about rounding. So when we're working with rounding, we always use place value. We use tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, etc. So let's just start by doing some simple examples. Say we have uh, the number 34. And we want to take this number and we want to round this. So round to the nearest 10. So round it to the tens place, or round it to the closest 10, or round it to the nearest 10. So if you want to really understand what this means, what you can do is you can draw a picture. So here is the number line, and I'll just put 34 here. And then maybe here's 35. And the next 10 to the right would be 40. And then the next 10 to the left would be maybe 30. So the question is, uh, which number is closer? Is 30 closer to 34 or is 40 closer to 34? Well, obviously from this picture, you see that this is only four, it's a distance of four. And over here, there's a distance of six between 40 and 34. So 34 is closer to 30. So when we round 34 to the nearest 10, the answer is 30. So you round to the closest one. Okay, you round to the closest one. What happens if you have a situation where, say we have the same situation, except we have a different number. Say we have the number 35, and we want to round that to the nearest 10. Well, then you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation because you're right here, and it's pretty much, it can go either way. So typically what you do in a situation like this is you round up. So if you had to round 35 to the nearest 10, you would round up to 40. So the answer here would be 40. So whenever it's five or higher, you round up. And if it's less than that, uh, you round uh, down, right? You round down. Let's do another example. Let's say we have 172. Um, and this time we're gonna round to the nearest. So round to the nearest hundred. Let's do that. So the tens place is two, the ones place is two, the tens place is seven, and the hundreds place is one. So what you do is you just basically look at this number. If this number is five or bigger, you move this number up by one. You don't have to draw the picture every time. So because this is a seven, we round up to 200. So the answer here is 200. You see, if you look over here, we could have done this first example without the picture. Because the number four is less than five, we round down to 30. But because it's five, we round up to 40. If in this first example we had 37, we would also round up to 40. Why? Because seven is bigger than or equal to five. Let's do another example. Let's say we have um, about 796. And we're gonna round this to the nearest 10. So round to the nearest 10. So in this case, uh, just like before, uh, we want to uh, round up. In this case, it's a nine, right? So it's definitely gonna round up, but you can't move it up anymore, right? Because if you move it up again, you'll be at the number 10. Like if you add one, you're gonna get to 10. So what you do is you round this one up. So you round to 800. Just to make the point, say it was 786 and you're rounding to the nearest 10. Well, in this case, this number is bigger than five, the eight. So you round it up to nine, so you get 790. But when we try to do that here, if we just try to add one to it, we get 10, so that doesn't work. So we have to go and round this one here to 800. Let's do more examples so you get more comfortable with this. After you, you do a bunch of these, it becomes really intuitive. Let's do 2675 and let's round to the nearest thousand. 
So we're just really focusing on this number here. So this number here is bigger than five. So we take this and round it up. So it's going to be 3000. And intuitively that makes sense, right? This number is closer to 3000 than it is to 2000. So that's the idea. Likewise here in this more confusing example, 796 is closer to 800 than it is to 790. So even if you got confused with what to do, if you think about what rounding means is you're going to the nearest number that has um, that uh, place. All right, uh, let's do another one. How about 18,799? And let's round this to the nearest 10,000. So round to the nearest uh, 10,000. So this is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds, this is the thousands, this is the ten thousands. So here we have an eight, so we're going to take this one and round it up, and that's going to give us 20,000. And that should make sense, right? This number is closer to 20,000 than it is to 10,000. I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about rounding. Good luck.